finish. Unbelievable! Ian Gary knocks out Rosta McMahon. What's good guys, we just got the announcement from Dana White, UFC 303 has added an official bout, Michael Venom Page versus Ian Machado Gary has now been official for UFC 303, let's see what he has to say. UFC 303, McGregor versus Chandler, I'm sure you saw it yesterday, it was announced, Jamal Hill versus Carlos Olberg is the co-main event. We are also adding undefeated 14-0 welterweight Ian Gary, he is going to be taking on the number 13 ranked... He's trying Michael to crack Venom into the top Page. 15. This fight is already the largest gate in UFC history, and it is International Fight Week. So, if you haven't got your tickets, you better get them now. Next week is UFC 302 in Newark. When that fight is over, I'm I believe he announces plane, a press conference. I'm flying straight to Dublin, Ireland. We're holding the Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler press conference live and free on June 3rd at the 3 Arena. That's going to be lit. I haven't been to Ireland in a while. The last time I was there was for McGregor Mayweather presser, and it was incredible. And I All right, let's get it. All right, let's we know how he is. Dana used to be fat. Let's get it, bro. We have Ian Machado Gary. We have a press conference on Monday. This Monday, actually. No, 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 no. Let's actually make... Let's look at the calendar. Today's May 24th, so... <clears throat> not this Monday, next Monday is the press conference for Michael Chandler. The first ever press conference between Michael Chandler and Conor McGregor. That's going to be a banger. This is what MVP had to say on a podcast because we recently thought that Ian Gary was going to fight uh, Colby Covington because of the bickering back and forth, and he had three stipulations, but it turns out but, that yeah, Colby might have ducked. In Manchester, but I was just waiting for an opponent. Colby's got some kind of issue. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Didn't actually look into exactly what that was, but he can't make the fight. They're like, you know, would you still want to take that? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, let's just put it on the uh, the the UK card because it just makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. They went to go back, and I didn't really hear anything back, so I was just waiting. Yeah. And then he released that. Oh yeah, like he said yes, and I was like, okay. But I wanted to make it. I don't actually care when the fight is. I can do it next week. I can do it the week after. I think he likes to just, you know, hang on the back of people's coattails. So he's he sees Conor McGregor and gets excited. And now he's just changed it. Like, oh, I don't want to fight. Or, uh, I just, I'm, I've accepted it. You've so accepted. I've accepted. Ian it. wanted to fight so on Conor's card. He's accepted it. He's, he's, he says he's accepted he it. says he's accepted it. This guy likes to talk because you remember he says I'm never gonna beat Kevin Holland. Then I did what I did. So yeah, he admits he's wrong. Then he says he's never going to accept the fight with me because I'm ranked too low. So then, how have all of a sudden you've accepted the fight? I don't. You need to figure out where you're at. Make sense of what you're what you're saying. And it's like, like even like a lot of people on my team are like, oh, you should say something back. Like, yeah, I was like, all right, that's good though. Chill out. <laughs> we now know that it's official. Ian Gary was gonna fight maybe on UFC 304, but it's better that he's on UFC 303. He always wanted the Conor fight. He wanted to fight on the co-main. I believe it should be the co-main event for the Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler fight because now we have Khalil. Uh, now we have uh, Khalil Ranchi who stepped out and Carlos Orberg versus uh, Jamal Hill. And that's right now the co-main event. But I think MVP versus Ian Gary should be the main event. It's going to be a banger fight, bro. Two great stylistic matchups that match up so well together. They're going to be uh, working really good. And it's going, to be, it's going to be a phenomenal fight. It's going to be one of those fights where we look at both of them stylistically. And whoever loses this fight isn't out of the picture still. Because you can still... Uh, you're still able to get a title shot, man. We know Colby got... Kobe Covington has gotten a bunch of title shots. Speaking of Kobe Covington, let's actually talk about how Kobe Covington is the duck. This guy called out Ian Machado Gary, called him out, said he wanted to take the fight, said he wanted to fight, said, where are you at, Ian Gary? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ian Gary said, let's sign the contract, and we now know that 
It's Colby who fell through and did not sign the contract. Colby Covington has actually ducked. And Ian Gary, I give his credit, he stepped up and fought and uh, signed up to fight Michael Venom Page. Both of them are going to be uh, in phenomenal shape. It, we have until <clears throat> the McGregor fight. Let's just look it up. Sorry. I should know the date. It's, uh, they have, there we go. Where's the date? June 29th, June 29th. So they have until June 29th. And it's basically a whole month. They have a whole month. They have a whole month. So if they've been training or they, you know, it's kind of short notice. Not completely because they haven't been out of uh, training camp. But we're going to see how they both do up against each other. I think uh, Michael Venom Page is uh, the better overall with his footwork. But Ian Gary is very good at closing down the distance. And he has a very good knee up the middle. It's going to be a good fight. I can't believe uh, Colby Covington ducked. It's actually kind of insane. These two are one of the uh, two top best welterweights in the world, in my opinion. And I think the winner of this fight is going to definitely deserves a title shot. I think the winner of this fight deserves a title shot, even though the winner of this fight is only cracking into the top 15 or top 10. Give me... Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal fight, but um, it's going to be only three rounds. So it's going to be 15 minutes. And uh, I think whoever takes the last two is going to win it. It's going to be, uh, this might even be split. Some people are saying that it's either going to be one of the most exciting 15 minutes or one of the most boring 15 minutes of all time. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be uh, a striking masterclass, bro. Nobody's shooting a takedown. Nobody's shooting a takedown here. We know that the best man is going to win. And we just needed this car. We just needed this fight. Now UFC 303 is good. I was like, bro, if you take off the McGregor and the Chandler fight, it looks like a Bellator card. Because that's how, other than the Peyton Talba fight. But now we have MVP and Ian Gary. So it makes up the card and it makes it even more phenomenal. And uh, we have 303 June 1st. And then June 3rd, we have the press conference. So we're in for a treat, guys. We have a bunch of good fights. Guys, let me know who you guys got. My prediction. I'm going... I want to see MVP, you know, come in with a walkout, a crazy walkout. Ian Gary's good. He just gets caught. Give me MVP. Give me MVP for the win, bro. 29-28. It might even go split decision, bro. This is going to be crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if Ian Gary beats him and cracks in the top 15, though. Ian Gary's a beast, bro. The high kick is there. The knee up the center. Uh, they've both been dropped in their careers before. So we just have to see who can uh, capitalize on the their opponent's mistakes. Let me know who you guys think is going to win. Let me know if you guys think this fight goes a distance. And let me know if UFC 303 is good or if it needs one more fight. I think it's good. I think we're good, man. June 29th, Michael Chandler versus McGregor. Khalil Roundtree versus Carlos Orberg. MVP versus Ian Machado Gary. Give me MVP for the win. Amazing walkout. But this is going to be a phenomenal fight, man. I can't wait. Guys. Like the video. See you guys in the next one. Let's get it.